All right. Hey, um, I'm going to compare the C trumpet with the B flat trumpet and what the differences are. So if you got a C trumpet or if you just have one, um, I ordered one not really knowing uh, what the differences were. And I'm kind of happy with it now because I, I write solo music for myself using synthesizers and electronic um, sounds, I guess, electronic instruments to write music. And the C trumpet plays perfectly in tune with, with those instruments because you don't have to transpose the music from what's written in C, say on a keyboard, to what the trumpet plays, which a lot of trumpets are in B flat. So um, the B flat trumpet though is important if you're playing for a school in the band, in the orchestra, in a symphony or something, in a jazz band. Um, a lot, most of the trumpet music out there is written for B flat trumpet. So if you have a C trumpet and you're trying to play, you're trying to play trumpet music that's written for B flat trumpet, it's going to sound wrong because they're in different uh, keys, I guess, like the, the way the instrument is actually made. Um, so this is a C trumpet right here. All right. Looks like this. Um, it's shorter. Uh, a B flat trumpet is going to be longer, but when you lengthen the instrument, you're going to actually lower the tone, not the tone, but you're going to lower the pitch of the horn. So B flat trumpets is a, is a whole tone lower than a C trumpet and it's longer. So it's a longer instrument, therefore has a lower t lower tone uh, by a whole tone. But the C instrument is a shorter one uh, and it has a higher tone by a whole tone up to C. All right, so from B flat to a C is one whole tone. Um, you know, if you look at a keyboard like I have over here, uh, from B flat to a C, you know, is a whole step, two half steps or two, whole, two half tones or a whole tone. Um, from B flat to a C. So the C trumpet is a whole tone above the B flat trumpet. And that's good because what that means is basically you're able to, um, like when you play the note C on, a, on this horn, when you play C, open finger C, the sound you hear coming out of the horn is actually an open finger C. All right, if you were to play an open finger C on a B flat horn, the sound you would hear coming out of the horn would actually be um, a B flat, all right? But composers, composers when they write the music, they adjust the notes that you see in the staff and stuff to be what everyone else in the band sees. So when you look at the music on the sheet music and you're playing a B flat trumpet and you see the note C, you play open finger C, but technically the composer knows this and wants you to play a B flat. So you're playing a B flat, really. The sound that you're making out of the instrument is a B flat. But uh, what you're seeing and what you think you're playing is really a C because the composer transposed the music to be a whole tone um, higher than what you're hearing, basically. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you're choosing between the instruments, a B flat is definitely used a lot more in uh, school bands, orchestras, symphonies, stuff like that, jazz bands, swing bands, marching band, things like that, because most of the music is already transposed to be uh, for B flat trumpet. You'll see on the sheet music, it will say trumpet and then B flat or C. And if you have a B flat trumpet, make sure you're playing the sheet music for B flat. Or if you have sheet music and it says B flat, most of the time, like in school bands, make sure you're playing on a B flat trumpet. All right, because if you have a C trumpet, it's going to sound a whole step higher than what you're actually supposed to play, um, and vice versa, a whole tone. So that's the big difference um, in the instruments. So if you're just a solo artist like I am and you make electronic music, you know, I, I make I make kind of like hip-hop and, and uh, you know, electronic jazz kind of sounds and stuff like that, um, the C trumpet is perfect for me because I can write melodies on the computer or on a MIDI controller uh, with a with a keyboard like a an analog synthesizer or a MIDI uh, keyboard, and um, what I'm playing and what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing is in C, and then I can take those notes and basically play it on the trumpet as well um, when I want to make a melody that's in harmony with the rest of the instruments in in my piece of music in my in my song. 
but if I had a B flat trumpet, I would have to take those notes and then transpose the scale that I'm writing in. If I'm writing in, say, F sharp major, or I'm writing in B B major, I would have to transpose that scale for B major um, one one whole tone higher. All right, and then play those notes on the B flat trumpet. So it's kind of a it's kind of more ec an extra step and. Um, for that. So if you're a composer and you're trying to write your own music, uh, C trumpet is probably the way to go because it's just, it's exactly what you're hearing and what you're playing is actually the same thing. Uh, but if you're a student and you're learning trumpet in a, in a school band or something and you want to learn trumpet, B flat's probably the way to go because most of the sheet music out there that bands perform with, school bands, jazz band, marching band, is written for B flat trumpet. So uh, you would have to play B flat trumpet music using a B flat trumpet. Um, so it depends on what your goals are, you know. Um, if you're a solo artist, C trumpet. If you're in a school band, you're learning trumpet. B flat trumpet is the way to go. Um, and yeah, I hope this makes sense, and I hope it helps. Uh, I know it was hard for me to kind of uh, differentiate between the two instruments. And um, when I got the C trumpet, it was. I was kind of worried at first that I, I had to play a whole new fingering system, but the fingerings are the same. So for C trumpet, the fingerings stay the same. It's still C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Um, the only difference is now when you play those notes, you're actually hearing those tones. So when you play a C, you actually hear a C. I can't right now because it's, it's 2.30 in the morning and um, I'm just trying to be quiet, but... Uh, when you when you play a open C on a C trumpet, you're actually hearing a C. While on a B flat trumpet, when you play an open when you think you play an open C, you're actually playing a B flat. And then when you play a D on a on a, when you play D on a C trumpet, it's actually a D. But when you play a D on a B flat trumpet, you're actually hearing a C. All right, so that's the difference. Um, everything's a whole tone apart from the two instruments. Um, but yeah, so, you know, basically uh, use the B flat if you're in a school band or you're learning trumpet with a, with a tutor or with, um, you know, an instructor, a teacher. But uh, use the C trumpet if, you're, if you understand music theory enough to write your own songs and you want to compose your own music, uh, go ahead and use the C trumpet. Um, and yeah, so... You know, one's not better than the other, but you just have to know where what you're using the trumpet for to really optimize your playing. And I hope this video was helpful in talking about the two trumpets. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, if you prefer one over the other, drop it in the comments too, and we'll talk about it and all that. So uh, thank you for watching, um, and have a great day. Take care.